23, calculate the hydronium ion concentration and the hydroxide ion concentration in lime juice from its pH and then see figure 14.2 for useful information. So I went to figure 14.2 and I found the pH of lime juice. It looked like it was about right on the money with a pH of two. So I just said 2.0. So from there, we have a pH value and the pH is on the acidic scale. So we just have to find the hydronium ion concentration and the hydroxide. Well, just know that hydronium, right? That's H plus or sometimes you could see it as H3O plus tomato, tomato. I always like to use H plus because it's just easier. It's one element as opposed to, you know, two elements. Much easier as you can see. Um, hydroxide ion is OH minus. There's no other alternative. So we just have to basically find the concentration of H plus and OH minus. So now here are six equations that I have written down here for you guys to memorize. I promise you, if you guys memorize these equations, this chapter will go by very, very quickly. It's going to help you out a lot, especially if your teacher or professor uh, will not, you know, does not give you these equations on your test or quiz. So pH, part of the acid land over here, right? And that's literally the only thing I have. So if I have a pH... I can search for the other acidic component, which is the H plus. Hydronium ion is the acid component. So if I'm searching for the H plus, all I have to do is 10 to the negative pH. That's fun. So I could say if I'm looking for H plus, this is the same as just doing 10 to the negative pH. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. The concentration of H plus would equal 10 raised to the negative 2.0. So basically, ooh, what happened there? So basically, it's just, if I just plug that in into Calcutown, Town, it would basically be 1 times 10 to the negative second, which is basically 1, 2, point zero 0.01. So maybe I'll just do it that way. 0 0.01, and that's molarity. Now let me just make sure that... We don't have any issues. I'm actually going to just do this into the calculator because as far as um, uh, video-wise, I just want to make sure I got it covered. You can never be too sure. And it is 0 0.01. Okay, cool. So we have the first part down. First part is done already. Now, there's two routes that we can go. We can either take the information that we just found out and try to find the OH minus concentration, or we could always go back to what they gave us and try to reroute from there. Now, as far as a test or quiz, it's, it's safer to always start with what you're given, you know, maybe the unfortunate chance that you actually got this incorrect, and then you try to find the OH minus. Now you have both answers that are incorrect instead of going back to the original and trying it again. So I'm just going to write the flow for, uh, to go from pH of 2 to uh, the OH minus concentration. If we went the pH route and we tried it over again, if I want to get over to baseland, I got to go from a red to a blue. And if they gave me the pH... I could find the pOH because I know it's equal to 14. So I can find the pOH, and from there then, I can use my base equations to solve for the OH minus concentration. So this essentially would be two steps. So you would find the pH, and then from there, get the pOH, and then you can get the OH minus concentration. But now I know that this is correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take the short route and go from H plus to OH minus. That's one single equation, right? And this is H plus. That's this formula. KW equals H plus times OH minus. And maybe what I can do is I can just copy this. And there we go. Now we just found out the H plus. So that's 
0.01 molarity. We're solving for the hydroxide, so that's X. But the question is, what is KW? Well, that's a constant. We have to memorize that. Now, they didn't tell us specifically what temperature we're at, so we're going to assume that it's at room temperature, and when we do that, the KW is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. There are no units for KW. So, let's now just plug it in. 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th equals... And maybe I'll just put these in the color code. I'm searching for the X value, and I have 0.01. Let me just pull this in. Solve for X. So, looks like I'm just going to divide on both sides by 0.01, get rid of that, and 0.01. And now we arrive at our X value, which, remember, is the concentration of the OH minus, and that's the hydroxide. So let's see. Uh, 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 0 0.01, basically 1 times 10 to the negative 12th. And we'll do 1.0 times 10, and let me just move this over just so that we have a little bit more room to the negative 12th, and a little bit more room is needed. There we go. That's good enough. Molarity. And that, oop, I don't like that color clashing. That is our final answer. So now we just found out the hydroxide concentration and the hydronium. In your spare time, try to go through this route. Chances are you will get the same answer. So it just shows you that with these six equations, you can find the same answer via multiple different uh, you know, choices. So hopefully this video helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. If you want to help us out, please hit that subscribe button. Just tells, uh, you know, this algorithm, you know, the YouTube algorithm that this channel exists. But yeah, I mean, the higher the number of subscribers for us means the more the word gets out there. And that's all because of you guys. So thank you so much. I really hope this helped, and I will see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.